Okay, so today we're going to uh, be demonstrating some rapid inductions to get people into hypnosis as quickly as possible because it just feels good. Uh, the idea that you have to spend a half hour doing a hypnosis induction is just silly. We want to make sure that we're getting to that magical state of mind as quickly as possible so that we can get to the stuff that's most important. Remember, it's not the hypnotic state, it's what you do in that state that matters more than anything else. So. Bill and I are going to do some rapid induction here together. Um, Bill's really good at doing this, but he's actually um, volunteered to be my uh, subject today, lucky dog. <laughs> this stuff feels really good. So the first uh, a, a common way to hypnotize people is the eye fixation or eye stare technique. So with the eye stare technique, Bill, I'm going to have you just stare up at my finger. And I want you to stare at my finger and as you stare at my finger, your eyes are going to start to feel a little bit tired, more sleepy, more relaxed. As those eyelids start to feel heavier and heavier, you're going to find yourself wanting to close your eyes. As I lower my finger down, you'll close your eyes. They'll get heavier and heavier until eventually they close right on down. That's right. All the way. Good. Take a nice, slow, deep breath in. Slowly let it go. Excellent. Wonderful. Now I'm going to count to three, snap my fingers, and you'll gently open your eyes. One, two, three. Very good. So with the eye induction, the eye fixation, you're getting people to look up because when you look up, it naturally fatigues the eyes. And then as you lower your finger down in front of their face, it causes them to close their eyes and relax. Uh, relaxation is a wonderful part of hypnosis. You don't have to have it, but we use it because it feels good and because people seem to uh, do much better at achieving their goals when they're in a more comfortable, calm, relaxed state. Okay? Another way of doing a rapid induction is to be able to do a bit of a confusion technique. Okay? With a bit of a confusion technique, when people get confused, often they're not sure what to do, and in that moment their unconscious mind will take whatever suggestion you give them. So there's a common one called the handshake technique, which is just a confusion technique. So, Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Good. Stare right here at your hand, and as that hand comes down, you find yourself relaxing deeper and deeper and deeper. That's right. Take a nice, slow, deep breath in. Let this arm become totally relaxed. And as I let that arm drop to the chair, you find yourself dropping down into that peaceful state of hypnosis. That's right. Good. Now I'm going to count from one up to three, and when I say three, I'll have you open your eyes feeling very rested and refreshed. One, two, three. Good, very good. Now, the next technique we're going to use is um, an, also another rapid induction, and it is uh, designed to uh, confuse people as well a little bit so that they go into that state of hypnosis more rapidly. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to put your hand on mine. Good. And just start pushing down. And as you push harder and harder, you just feel that tension in your body. Pushing down into your hand. Push harder and harder and harder. And relax. Now let your whole body just go. That's right. Totally relaxed. Loose and limp and at ease. Feeling very comfortable in every way. We're putting his attention here on the hand, and then as soon as I drop the hand, it causes his body to go into a state of confusion. Then I'm gently moving, pushing his head forward just a little bit. If you have people with neck problems, you wouldn't want to do that. But it allows them to just kind of relax and go into this peaceful state of mind. You can see Bill feeling very relaxed and comfortable. Now, he can go from relaxed to making his arm very rigid using the iliomotor muscles, the smaller muscles in his arm we can create what's called catalepsy. So take this arm, make it straight, like a stiff, rigid bar. Make that arm so stiff and rigid, the harder you try and bend it, the straighter it goes. Give it a try, the harder you try and bend it, the straighter it goes. It just goes straighter and straighter. Good. When I touch that arm again, imagine it turns into a wet spaghetti noodle. One, two, three. That's right. Good. Now I hung on to his arm just for safety so that it didn't just plop right down. You're always, always taking care of the people that you're working with, making sure that they are safe at all times, no matter what. Okay? You can also get the body to do just about anything you want under hypnotic suggestion. Bill's fully alert and awake, and yet his body's relaxing very well. Now, Bill, I want you to imagine that your arm just keeps going in this peculiar circle. It just keeps going in that circle, and even if I move my hand away, your hand just keeps going and going 
and going into this circle. And that could go all day long because Bill is using his idiomotor muscles, the tiny muscles. If he was using his larger muscles, after a while he would get fatigued. But the tiny muscles can just keep you going and going and going and relax. That's right. Now imagine this hand is magnetized to the chair and the harder you try and lift it from the chair, the more stuck it becomes. Go ahead and give it a little try. Try to lift that arm and it just becomes more stuck. That's right, good. Stop trying. Very good. So you can suggest all kinds of different things physically. You can suggest things that would influence their body um, chemically. So Bill, you may notice the need to start to swallow. You may find the need to swallow. Now immediately he swallowed because his body started produce, uh, producing saliva flow, increased saliva flow, stomach enzymes that are released in the mouth to digest food. And just from, the ex just from suggesting it, his body released enzymes. Now most people thought that was an autonomic response, that we had no control or influence over that at all. We find that that is false. You have tremendous influence over your body. If you can influence saliva flow, you can also influence respiration, your heartbeat, uh, and possibly even metabolism. Uh, monks have been proving that to be the case. Tibetan monks for many, many thousands of years where they have studied how to influence the human body in incredible ways. And with hypnosis, it kind of gives you a shortcut so you can do the same. We fill our bodies with stress hormones all the time like cortisol and adrenaline, what would happen if we started flooding your body with happy healing hormones like uh, endorphins, enkephalins, dopamine, and all kinds of good stuff that would help you feel really, really good. Now, Bill, I want you to imagine that we put this hypnosis button right on your forehead and anytime I push this button on your forehead, you're going to find yourself going right back into hypnosis. Anytime I touch you on your forehead and your hypnosis button, you're going to find yourself going right back into hypnosis very easily. One, two, three, eyes open. Good, very good. How are you feeling? Very relaxed. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Another hypnosis technique is actually called fractionation. And fractionation means when you hypnotize somebody and bring them out and hypnotize somebody and bring them out, every time they go in and out of hypnosis, they go deeper and deeper, which means they feel extremely relaxed. When you see entertainment shows and people running around on stage doing all kinds of things, it's because they've been hypnotized and rehypnotized several times. So people are alert and awake. Would you say that you're alert and awake through this whole process? Yes. Yeah. You know what's going on. I can't make you go outside and start punching people, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you wouldn't do that. It's not your nature. He's a very sweet guy. So even if I hypnotized him and told him to do it, he would probably say, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Maybe he'd punch me for suggesting it, but, but he wouldn't hurt anybody else. He's just a, a nice guy. So, um, uh, so you can't make people do things, even though TV shows like to suggest that. But it is a very useful tool for accomplishing all kinds of positive goals. So would you like to feel good again? Sure. Okay, good. Go ahead then and just do that. That's right. We just push that hypnosis button down. Now, it might seem like we've, we've staged this or faked this and something, but no, it's just basically, uh, it's classical conditioning. You condition people to go into a certain feeling state, and when their brain associates it with pleasure, they willingly go there. So instead of having to go into a big, long, elaborate induction, where I'm telling Bill to go down 20 different staircases to relax, instead I'll just install a hypnosis button, a hypno button, and anytime we want to work together, I just push that button and he just goes right into that state. Or I could use a word or a phrase or just about anything, as long as it was positive and appropriate, to help Bill access that state um, instantly and help him feel good. If we were able to get you into that kind of state where you felt good instantly, imagine what you could do. The state might be relaxation, it might be confidence, it might be calm, it might be resourcefulness, it might be curiosity. It might be motivation, conviction, or drive. Whatever state you would like to experience. Imagine being motivated in situations where you used to procrastinate. Imagine feeling full and satisfied in situations where you used to binge out and overeat. Imagine feeling secure in situations that used to feel, help, uh, make you feel anxious. So the possibilities are unlimited and very exciting. So now, Bill, on the final time, I'm going to count from one up to five. When I say five, I'll have you open your eyes feeling sensational, full of energy, feeling very, very great, 
just great all week long and especially feeling great today as I count from one up to five. One, coming up. Two, deep breath in through your nose. Very good. Three, feeling rested. Four, fantastic in every way. And five, slowly opening those eyes, feeling wonderful. Oh. Ah, that's right. <laughs> feeling energized now, yeah. It's amazing when you feel that relaxed, how you can come up and feel so good. Yeah. So how are you feeling? I feel clear, relaxed. I actually had really bad allergies and I was nauseous earlier. I'm not anymore. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, fantastic. Energy's flowing smoothly. Yeah, very yeah, good. I feel good. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you for helping today. I appreciate it. All right, thank All you. All right, thanks.